Welcome back. Well, when it tends to get very cold outside, that can lead to colds, the flu, and other airborne illnesses. But it can also affect our feet. And here to talk about how to protect our toes this winter, Christy Koenig's Dr. Lisa Hobbs. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Thanks for, for being here. here. Jinx. So <laughs> what are the most common wintertime foot injuries that people may not be uh, know about? So I think the most common ones we see are actually traumatic injuries. So things like stress fractures, ankle fractures, slips on the ice will lead to those traumatic injuries. Sure. So most people know if they have an injury to their foot or a sprain or something like, like that when it happens, those are you oftentimes obvious. But there's also some things that can happen down there that may not be instantly recognizable to people. So what are some of those things? Absolutely. So there's a condition called chill blains that is actually prolonged exposure to the cold. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes people will be out shoveling snow or, you know, walking to the bus stop and things like that. And they don't realize that they're actually getting that cold exposure. Wow. Uh, what are some of the other ones? Because I know there's quite a few that are pretty common. Sure. So another one that is that is caused by cold exposure would be Raynaud's. So Raynaud's phenomenon is one that we kind of live with, but then when we get that cold exposure, we can get the color changes to the fingers, color changes to the toes. It can lead to pain and blistering and things like that and can actually cause a significant amount of pain. Sure. So I think most people have heard of athlete's foot. What right. exactly is that? So athlete's foot is a fungal infection that has to do with the skin and um, the reason it has a high incidence in winter months is because we tend to wear thick wool socks that cause sweating and that sweating will lead to that fungal infection. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so when is it important for us to know that it's time to go to the doctor? Sure. So I think anytime you have prolonged pain, any color changes, wounds, or blistering to the skin, it's time to just call us. Um, you don't want anything to cause any prolonged damage, any soft tissue damage, or things that we can't treat easily. Sure. And you also want to, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to avoid having your feet staying too dry or too wet, right? Absolutely. So too wet can lead to that athlete's foot. Too dry can lead to dry skin, causing cracks in the skin, bleeding, and even bacterial infections because some bacteria can get into the cracks. Is there anything that we can do to prevent some of these things? Absolutely. So keeping the feet warm is key. So cotton socks, wool socks, things that actually keep the toes warm can, um, you know, fend off those cold injuries and then keeping them dry. So powders in the shoes and things like that can help to keep the feet dry. Sure. And if they get too dry and they start cracking, then lotion, is that a good idea? Right. Lotions, creams, and again, if it bleeds or if there's any bacteria in there that causes infection, going to the doctor is key. And of course, wearing the right shoes is important. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So shoes not with too high of a heel or too slick of a surface is going to be important. Any slip and fall can lead to those traumatic injuries. Sure. And this is important when you're thinking about going out and shoveling snow in your driveway. Absolutely. In the coming weeks, you you know, if you're out there for a long time, you have to think about some of these things, right? Definitely. So yeah, slip and fall with shoveling snow is a big one. Prolonged exposure. Those of us that have huge driveways that take hours to shovel, you know, that can lead to those frostbite or chill blains issues. All right. So change your socks or shoes if you have to. Absolutely. Take breaks. <laughs> Take breaks. Definitely. Dr. Hobbs, thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you, Thank you again for having me.